Okey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dan selamat petang So, hari ini adalah kelas kita yang pertama Berkenaan dengan uh, software SOLIDWORKS So, SOLIDWORKS ni kalau tak ada boleh carilah So, uh, okey, so tanpa kita buang masa Kita pergi ke software Okey, saya tukar uh, screen Okay, ini adalah software SOLIDWORKS Software SOLIDWORKS ni dia simple saya eh? Dia sangat simple Okay, saya tak present uh, On tire screen Mana? Okay, screen satu Okay, so saya dah present Okay, so kita buka SOLIDWORKS Kita nampak lah eh? Okay, SOLIDWORKS ni version dia Kalau say belas-belas, 2011 sampai 2020 Dia tak ada beza banyak Dia lebih kurang ni Cuma yang dia banyak lah Advanced function So yang tu kita tak nampak sangat beza dia Okay, so Kalau kita nak mulakan menukis dalam SOLIDWORKS So, pertama sekali kita kena pergi dekat file New Dan kita pilih Mana-mana uh, yang kita nak lah Okay, for this case Kita buat part Dan untuk next time kita pergi bahagian assembly Dan drawing ni adalah uh, Drawing contohnya kalau kita nak hasilkan lukisan autografi, sectional view, top view, plan view, side view or front view lah. Kita boleh letak dia punya cutting section apa semua. Okey. Ada yang tak boleh masuk, boleh tahu lah. Yang saya ingat dia. So, untuk yang ni kita pilih part. Okey. Okey, dalam ni apa yang kita perlu uh, fikir adalah dia ada dua benda. Yang pertama adalah bahagian sketch. Sketch ni adalah lukis lah. Lukis-lukis uh, yang macam kita belajar dalam AutoCAD sebelum ni. Contohnya kalau kita nak buat bulat, garisan lurus, segi empat. Dan sebenarnya SOLIDWORKS ini, work ni adalah sangat-sangat apa sangat-sangat uh, mudahlah berbanding AutoCAD. Okey, so pertama sekali kita klik sketch dan kedua kena klik yang sketch ni. Kemudian kita pilih plane. Bergantunglah pada plane yang kita nak. So ini ini just klik je mana-mana So saya pilih front plane So dia akan keluar 2D lah So sketch ni adalah dalam 2D Dua dimensi Contoh kita nak lukis garis Garis tarik Kalau nak buat sengit Nak buat menegak Dia boleh, dia auto Klik je. Yang kelebihan SOLIDWORK ni, kita hentam je bentuk biar dampak bentuk dia. Kemudian, kita pergi bahagian yang ni. Smart Dimension. Kita klik. Dan klik atas garis. So, kita ubah value yang kita nak. Contohnya, kita nak buat 10mm ke 100mm ke. Okey, tu 100. Contoh nak buat 100 by 100. Dan uh, SOLIDWORKS ni, lagi mana kita tak tekan benda lain, dia akan maintain smart dimension lah. Kalau kita tekan lain, dia akan buat benda lain lah. Okey, so kita tekan sekali lagi. Okey, kalau hitam ni maknanya dia akan fix lah. Kita tak boleh nak ubah lah. Kita tak boleh nak tarik-tarik. Okey. Itu bahagian uh, sketch. Dah habis sketch, baru kita pergi bahagian features. Ha, dua ni penting ya. 
cash ni adalah dalam bentuk dua dimensi features adalah bentuk tiga dimensi okay, kita boleh pilih extrude boss base ini kalau kita nak buat kotak 100 kali 100 kali 100 so yang ni dia tulis berapa dia punya depth dia so kita letak 100 lepas tu tekan enter ataupun tekan yang ni right Lepas tu, tekan sekali lagi. Dia akan preview. Dia akan preview bentuk dia. Dan, siap. Dah jadi. Solid. Solid, solid. Ini adalah view-view dia. So, untuk view yang ni, kita adalah isometric view lah. Okay, kalau kita nak zoom, kita scroll mouse ke depan. Ni zoom out. Scroll mouse ke depan lah. Eh. Kalau nak zoom in, masuk dalam, nak biar gambar dia lagi besar, kita scroll tu ke belakang. Pusing ke belakang. Okay. Undur ke belakang. Okay. Ke depan, ke belakang, ke depan, ke belakang. Okay. Kalau kita nak pindah view tu, kita... Pindah view saya cari tak sure. Eh. Kalau nak pusing, eh. kalau nak pusing view dia, kita boleh tekan scroll button tu yang boleh pusing tu tekan dan hold lepas tu kita boleh pusing okey itu untuk pusing kalau nak kembali pada view asal kita okey view ni ada view ni kita pilih ha, yang ni isometric view ambil yang isometric eh geometric boleh geometric pun boleh tapi biasa isometric lah So, dia akan kembali kepada keadaan asal. Kemudian, ni view-view dia lah. Top view, left view, right view, bottom view, back view, front view. Okay. So, itu adalah uh, permulaan penggunaan. Lepas tu, kita dah extrude. Sekarang ni, saya nak ajar nak buat lubang. Contohnya kita nak buat lubang kat tengah ni. Okay. So macam mana nak buat. So setiap features. Contohnya macam ni. Yang extrude, revolve, door, swap. Dia bermula dengan sketch. So kita kena pilih sketch balik. Tekan sketch kat sini. Dan kita pilih permukaan ni, yang kat mana kita nak mulakan buat lubang for example you want to start the hole from this side, the front view side so click on this then uh, this one normal tool, actually is not shown because this tool is actually I customize it myself so you can actually uh, uh, click here Click on this view, click here. So, they will view it straight up. Straight. So, you want to draw a circle. With what diameter? I don't know. It depends on your... your. It depends on the drawing lah. So, for example, okay. Look, if you want to make a line, but the line, you don't want to interfere with the, the features. So, we use this line, center line, okay, for example, create the center line, okay, this line wouldn't interfere with the drawing lah, so now circle, uh, click circle, okay, again, click circle, uh, so this, they got all, their own uh, off snap, object snap, so careful lah. So, this is the middle point. Okay. Now, the green is still, uh, sorry, the line is still blue. So, means that it can change. This one is can change size, but it doesn't, it doesn't change position because the center is actually originated from the midpoint of this line. Ah. Okay, now we go to smart dimension. Select on this line. Printed. Okay, escape again. Smart dimension, select on the line. Uh, determine how how much value that you want to put in. 
let's say uh, the value is actually 60 mm let's put it 60 and finish then you see the, the line is actually black black means it couldn't change anymore unless if you delete this dimension then you see the blue line so the blue line means that it can be uh, edited so I undo it control Z and okay, now so we want to make a hole so now finish with the 2d drawing now we go to the features features extruded cap not extruded boss boss means to, to create something cut means to uh, cut eh, from the solid solid face but if you start something with cutting it wouldn't appear because you, you must have something that can be cut. For this case, we have the cube. We, cut, we want to cut a hole. We want to cut a hole inside the cube. So determine how much the uh, distance. So let's say you want to make it 50 mm only. And OK. Now we have the diameter, the hole, the hole inside the cube. So that's another method. Let's say you want to cut it whole until at the back. So we click on here. We we can edit. Double click. Or here, edit feature. There is two things. Right click. Either you want to edit sketch. Let's say you want to change the shape, or you want to edit the features. Let's say you want to edit the thickness of the hole so edit features so let's say you want to true all true all means until anything that appears at the back uh, that is the true all lah. let's say you want to put blind blind means how many depth that you want to put inside let's say one and what let's say you, you accidentally put one thousand still it can happen but it that you can never view it because the solid only until 100 mm thickness okay any question so i think that's this is the basics of uh extrude boss extrude cut okay and then let's say if you want to change so you can either right click over here, edit sketch, you can edit the sketch, or you double click here, or edit, edit sketch over here. Okay, click click sketch. So this one I think it doesn't appear in your in your default SolidWorks. You can customize it later on. Huh? Alright, so this one can view from normal to the view that you you, you select for the plate all right this one all right let's say you accidentally use not the such a line so you uncheck this one okay so means this is line so what happened ah uh, there will be errors okay, for example i exit so uh, I undo it. I need to undo it because will keep here. All right. So let's say lah, you delete the features. Click the features. You want to delete the cut features. Click on the features. Push a delete button on the keyboard and click OK. So this one is advanced. So never mind for the time being. Just uncheck it. Click yes. Now the features is missing. Only the only one left is actually the sketch. So if you want to edit the sketch, edit the sketch. Let's say accidentally you click here, uh, you make it this one is solid line. Solid line mean uh, for the body, not for the construction line. Okay, and then so you go to features. Let's say you want to extrude boss base. So what happened? It's not that easy. Eh? You need to click. This side and this side, or 
You can either select this side, select this side. But I think eventually they will become a problem. Let's try. Okay. Okay. Unable to create this picture because it will result in zero thickness geometry. What happened? This is the problem. The problem is over here. If you want to extrude this side and this side together, there will be a problem in SolidWorks. Okay, so if you want to undo it, just click in. Because you don't want to interfere, the line to be interfering with the drawing, so you, you click the line over here, uh, change it into for construction, and click OK. All right. Now we go to extrude the boss mix. So you know, sorry, sorry. So if you want to cut it, use extrude cut. If you want to make something out of it, you use uh, extrude boss space. And now for, uh, let's try and make something out of it. Okay, let's say you want to use other features. For example, you want to create fillet, fillet, fillet over here that, that, that you learned in AutoCAD previously. So fillet, you want to make fillet this side. So just click fillet and choose the edge that you want, this one and change the diameter okay this one later select the edges that you think necessary all right then click ok you either can select uh, for fillet you can either select for the face uh, something like this and okay select fillet select face okay, okay. okay let's see you don't want the features appears so just click on it you can use this eye uh, click on it so you can hide so you will hide the whole thing that's the problem you cannot hide you yeah, say so you are just want to hide the fillet only Undo it. You use what we call this suppress. So when these features will not be shown on your model. So okay. So if something that is great like this, so I mean it is suppressed. So if you unsuppress it, click on here, right click, and click unsuppress. Okay. Let's say you want to create a sphere. How are you going to create a sphere using the extra box space? You cannot you cannot create a sphere using extra box space, but you need to use the revolve features. How to do it? Let's click sketch again. Let's sketch this one and pick the plane that you want. It depends. Let's say you want to plane, right plane ah. Right, somebody want to enter. Let's say you uh, you you want to see uh, okay, you want to draw a, a sphere. So what you need to do, we need to use the features, revolve features over here, revolve to make something circle. So you need to start with a semi circular. So sketch, create a circle. Use from the center of the origin, and then change the dimension of the sphere that you want. Let's say the diameter is 50. Okay, now it's 15. 50. And then, so you need to create another line from here to here. And then you need to trim this one. The stream entities. I prefer to use power trim. So power trim, if you click it, you left hand click and hold and move. So anything, any line that touch with the trim will be cut off. Right. 
so we want to create a sphere so features go to features revolve ball space select the axis of revolution the rotation point the rotation point is, is this one all right so 160 degree and finish now we have a sphere but uh, my sphere is something wrong with the sphere i don't know why it should be because there is no shadow so i need to put some shadow and the texture or color or something is missing somewhere hmm. there's something wrong with the view it's supposed to be some shade over here so you can see it's actually a uh, 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 sphere okay that's sphere okay for sketch i think that's it lah for the first record lah. Uh, otherwise it will be too long now it's already 20 minutes maybe we can start with some other exercise okay that's all for the the basics of SOLIDWORKS